Hello and welcome to Everyday Questions. I am in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and I am standing right next to the Petronas Towers. The Petronas Towers were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004. They are about 452 meters long and have about 88 floors each. But is there a limit to how tall we can build these buildings? And what are the challenges which people face when they build such high structures? To find answers to these questions and also which is the tallest building in the world, let's see this episode of Everyday Questions. So what are the challenges which we face when we are building such tall structures? Uh, there are a lot of them, but let's list down a few interesting ones. The number one, the elevator problem. So when you build a building which is this tall, how do you take people from the ground floor to the top of the building? Now theoretically you cannot build elevator shafts which are more than 600 meters long. So what happens in the case of Burj Khalifa, which is about 800 meters tall? In that case, the engineers have built separate lobbies. So you go from the ground floor to the first lobby, and then you take another elevator, which will take you to the top of the building. Speaking of elevators, the elevators should be really fast to take you from the bottom floor to the top floor. Nobody wants to spend half an hour going from one floor of a building to the top floor. But there's a limitation here. Now this is very similar to how you travel in an airplane. If something rises up really fast, you'll feel the air pressure drop in your ears, which will result in the numbing of it. So elevators also cannot travel more than 10 meters per second. And even elevators which travel at that speed have air dampeners, have other sorts of equipment installed in them, which reduces the air pressure faced by people inside of it. Uh, the second one is the choice of material involved for the building. In the case of Burj Khalifa, we used concrete. But the problem with concrete was that in the Dubai heat, it would actually solidify even before it was shipped from the bottom floor to the top of the building. Going ahead, there are theories around building tall buildings by the use of carbon fiber, etc. But the point with that is it's so expensive that it makes the cost of building the building prohibitively out of reach. Now the third one is wind tunneling. Most of you would have experienced that when you rise up or go to the top of a tall building, the wind is much stronger than what it is at the ground level. Now imagine you're building a structure which is as tall as about 800 meters or even a kilometer in the sky. The wind effects are much, much, much higher. Uh, so to account for all of this, engineers design buildings in certain ways so that they counter the effect of the wind. And this is done by having rounded edges around the building, having brackets to reduce uh, the air drag and so on and so forth. This brings us to Burj Khalifa, which is currently the tallest building in the world. It stands at a height of about 828 meters, which is incredibly tall. Um, I had a chance to visit it. Hello everyone. I am next to the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. It stands at a height of about 828 meters and it's pretty incredible. The incredible thing about Burj Khalifa is that the building is so tall that if you were at the ground floor, and if you saw the sunset, you could actually take a super fast elevator and ride up to the top floor and see the sunset again. The difference between the two sunsets would be about two to three minutes, but it was significant enough for the government to announce that the people staying in the Burj Khalifa should fast for two or three more minutes than others in the city. That also brings us to what could be the limit for building taller structures. There is currently a tower under construction in Saudi Arabia, which is called the Kingdom Tower, which would be about one kilometer tall. There are multiple theories around how tall can we build. And there are multiple theories about space elevators, which could actually be the tallest things ever built by mankind. But let's not get into that in this video. In case you like the video, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the link here. Also check out my previous two videos on why do things get stuck in our head? and also five awesome makeup facts you did not know of.